Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, forget everything you've seen on television and in the movies. There's not going to be any last-minute surprise witnesses. Nobody's going to break down on the stand with a tearful confession. You're going to be presented a simple fact. Andrew Beckett was fired. You'll hear two explanations for why he was fired, ours and theirs. It is up to you to sift through layer upon layer of truth until you determine for yourselves which version sounds the most true. There's certain points that I must prove to you. Point number one, Andrew Beckett was, is a brilliant lawyer, great lawyer. Point number two, Andrew Beckett, afflicted with a debilitating disease, made the understandable, the personal, the legal choice to keep the fact of his illness to himself. Point number three, his employers discovered his illness. And ladies and gentlemen, the illness I'm referring to is AIDS. Point number four, they panicked. And in their panic, they did what most of us would like to do with AIDS, which is just get it and everybody who has it as far away from the rest of us as possible. Now, the behavior of Andrew Beckett's employers may seem reasonable to you. It does to me. After all, AIDS is a deadly, incurable disease. But no matter how you come to judge, Charles Wheeler and his partners in ethical, moral, and in human terms, the fact of the matter is, when they fired Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS, they broke the law. 